Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, in today's video I'm going to be giving you a full walkthrough through, through the client management software that I use to run my business. Um, this software allows me to accept inquiries from my website, create proposals, send questionnaires, send out contracts. Um, it's what I use to accept payments and do everything else. I also have a 50% off discount code for you to try it out after you watch this tutorial um, if you think it'd be a good fit. So let's get started. Okay guys, so this is basically what it looks like when you first log into HoneyBook. So this is like the front dashboard. Um, it shows you all the important things for the day. So this is like new inquiries that have come in overnight. Um, this you can see your calendar, what do you have going on today, tasks. These things are generated from if you have clients on specific workflows and you've assigned yourself tasks to do for them so that you don't forget. That's where that comes from. Um, down here you can see anyone who's made any like new activity, like signed a proposal, submitted a payment or something. Bookkeeping, you can see records of you know how much you've made this month and your expenses. And you can also generate reports based on that. So I actually don't really use or navigate from this home dashboard, um, but what I'm going to do is show you like the main part of HoneyBook, which is in the projects tab. So if you go to the projects tab, you're going to see that um, 40, I have 45 active projects, so that's everybody um, who's doing business with me like at this second. Um, so basically it's on your, the way the project system works is everyone is part of the active projects, but then you have them all divided up into different parts of your overall workflow. So the way that I have mine set up is from inquiry which is populated when they submit a form through my website, all the way to retainer paid, everything is the same. So I'll get an inquiry, you know, I'll follow up with a phone call here, I'll send them a proposal. Once they sign that proposal through HoneyBook, they're automatically put here. Once they pay their retainer, they're put here. And then I personally will move them into the seniors in workflow, engagements in workflow, or weddings in workflow. So while they're sitting in this stage, they're on their own individual um, other workflow that's even more specific to them. Um, they just sit here until the job is pretty much done, and then I just make sure photos are delivered, thank you gifts are sent, um, ask for a review, you know, those types of things. So engagements and workflow, these three are things that I personally customized HoneyBook to be able to do. Um, this means that they have their wedding booked with me too, but they haven't done their engagement photos yet, so they're on that workflow track. And then once we do their engagement photos, I'll move them over into like wedding stuff. So that's kind of how it works. So I have created a sample wedding client here to be able to show you guys without showing um, information of my clients. So when you open up one of the projects, this is what it looks like on the inside. Basically, this is going to be a chain of emailing back and forth. So I no longer actually send emails from my email inbox. It's all through here. And it's really helpful to keep track because when you open up a, a specific project, you can see all the previous communication with that client right in front of you. Um, okay, so what, you would, what I would do is I would always like hit new file. And then this is where you can create a proposal, create an invoice, contract brochure, questionnaire timeline, or upload random things. Um, so you just pick whatever it is you know you need to do. Um, all of these have templates that you can make, which I'll show you in a sec, so you actually don't have to like regenerate things. Um, okay, so then if you go down here, this is the stage that they're at, so this is how I would change them into a different bucket if I wanted to. Um, and the client can't see this part. They only see your email chain right here and the files that they have. Um, you can add, do like fancy things like time tracking, tasks, notes. This is a private section, so I'll take notes during our phone calls and put them in here, and the client doesn't see those. Then this part is the part that's like when I was saying those specific buckets, like seniors, weddings, or engagements. This is where I'll assign them. Um, well, I don't have a participant here, so you actually have to add um, an email, so, like a real person here. I'll assign them that specific workflow right there. So that's pretty much how the project tab works. Um, next, I'm going to walk you through the tools tab. Okay, so if you go up to tools, um, you can hit, uh, sorry, templates. 
So this is where you would actually go ahead and create all those templates that you have. Um, so you can also make an email signature, things like that. So what I wanted to show you was the contact form because this one's really helpful. So on my website, I have different contact forms, like one for engagement session giveaway, seniors, wedding inquiries, um, just for example. So you could actually just create one, like add contact form like this, and then you can add, you know, oh, I want a button like here. Oops. You can say like, oh, I want a button and it'll, um, oh, sorry, this is how you click that and then this is what pops up. You type your question, type their options. It can be required or not. Um, you can kind of just customize the fields and then you can do other things like make it look pretty. But then when you want to go to add it to your website, what you would do is you just say view embed code, copy this code, and then go into your um, front end of your website and then it'll have somewhere that says embed a widget and you just say embed it by code and you just copy paste the script. And it's really nice because whenever you update this in HoneyBook, it will update all over on your website too because it's using the same script. Um, so that's how I get everybody on my website immediately over here. Immediately when they hit submit, it comes into inquiry. So the next day I can say, okay, this is how many people are waiting or like I need to talk to that just came through the website. Um, and then there's other, let's go back to tools for a sec. Other tools like questionnaires are really helpful. This is what I send to like my wedding clients um, and some questionnaires. Um, let's let me show you um, wedding day questionnaire. This one's really helpful because it allows me to confirm the wedding date, um, confirm location, things like that. And then I, this is what I'll actually just print for the wedding. Um, things like this. That's really, really easy because I don't have to regenerate that every time. Um, and then these are other things that are kind of basic. Um, you can create your contract. You can create a brochure of your packages so that they can select from them. Um, and then you can also have email templates. So email templates are really helpful because they literally, like, you can just write an email template and then create a workflow. Um, let me go ahead and show you that too. So if you create a workflow, this is like more specific workflows. So when I was when I was showing you guys this part, let me go back real quick. Um, over here, I have weddings and workflow. So this is, oh, I don't want to show you my clients. Um, weddings in workflow right here. So there's nine of them. Um, so each of them is on their own individual, more specific ta track, right? So the way I have that set up, because HoneyBook allows me to do that, is I have a three-month bride workflow uh, track, six month and eight month. So depending on when they booked in reference to when they're getting married, they're on one of these tracks. And they'll have eight steps and those eight steps include, you know, sending questionnaires, setting up their engagement photo shoot, things like that. Um, and then that was me kind of like fixing it. But these are like the three official ones. Um, yeah, that's basically kind of how it works. And here's a sample of one of the workflows. So basically you can send a questionnaire and you set these workflows up by three days after or like three days after previous step is complete. So it's really nice because you can like send things automatically. Um, I personally have everything set in my workflows to approve before sending. And then this will come up as a task on the front page da dashboard telling me, oh, you have this questionnaire to send out. So I'll look at it really quick and make sure that the client didn't say anything to me and ask me anything before and go ahead and send it to them. So this is like a task you can create yourself, you know, like send gift to bride and I want to remind myself to do this, you know, 70, 60 days before the wedding. So project date would be their wedding date, something like that. So that's kind of how the workflows work. And then um, when, yeah, let me show you, I think I showed you, but I'll show you again. Um, when you want to assign a workflow, you would go back into the project and then just put them on a track, which I don't have a client here, but you would pick it from this drop down. Okay, so let's go back to the tools. So I showed you con all these three were kind of in the templates. Um, there's also a mobile app on your phone. Um, I don't really personally use the batch emails that much, um, but also the library is just kind of a like 
library of all your files like photos that you upload it's not really that um, big of a deal let's go to opportunities so this is really cool because um you can post opportunities in your area and it's you know um like you pick what location you're in and it will notify other vendors who use HoneyBook that you're looking for something. So like this person is a photographer, she wants to second shoot. So she uses HoneyBook and she posted this on this opportunities page looking for someone to take her on as a second shooter. Same with this person. Um, someone's looking for a videographer. So it's really nice because HoneyBook has its own vendor community within its workflow system. And this is where I have like found a lot of my jobs and like networked with a lot of people by doing this and you don't have to like be specific to the area that you're in like you can just pick a different area and look and see what everybody's posting there too um yeah and then you can also build connections so you can add vendors kind of like facebook friends um but yeah that's pretty much how honeybook works um it also will notify you up here when clients take action oops um so you can see like what people are doing instead of just getting an email every time you just come in and make sure you look at all your notifications. Um, so yeah, that's how HoneyBook works. Uh, I hope that this was helpful. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching. Um, I hope it made a lot of sense. If you have any questions about it, feel, please feel free to just message me or email me with them. Um, HoneyBook has been life changing for me and my business. I think the faster you can do things to get things done, the more business you can build and the more time you have to create. Um, so yeah, again, I have a 50% discount code below if you want to try it out and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.